I've got great news. I found a solution to our school's biggest problem, space. As I know you're all painfully aware, our school just does not have enough classroom space. So I spent the past year searching the world for an island that would be suitable for our purposes, one that we could claim as our own and set up some classroom space. And I found it. Look at this beautiful island. Who wouldn't want to have classes here? Personally, I call dibs on the shady spot right underneath those trees over there. So, by planting the Ames flag on this beach, I hereby claim this island as the property of Ames, even though there might be some people already living here. Hey, I work for Columbus. So here it goes. Now it turns out there's a catch. In order to file our claim for ownership of this new island, we need to know the latitude and longitude of our island. And unfortunately, when I came ashore earlier today, I didn't bring either my GPS or my sextant. Rats. Hmm. If only there was some way we could figure out the latitude and longitude of our new island without using either a GPS or a sextant. Hey, I just noticed something interesting. The flagpole that I just put in the sand isn't casting a shadow. Here, let me show you what I mean. Here you can see the flag is definitely casting a shadow. But the pole Pole is not casting a shadow. That means that the sun is exactly overhead right at this moment. That's a very rare occurrence. Most places of the world it never takes place and even down here in the tropics it only happens twice a year. There's one day in the spring and one day in the fall when the sun passes exactly overhead. And by an incredible stroke of luck we just happened to discover our new Ames Island on this very rare no shadow day. I wonder if we could use the fact that today is a no shadow day to calculate what the latitude and longitude of our island is. Well, if you've taken Mr. Ramsey's earth science class, you should know the answer to that question is yes. Okay, so let me give you the information you need to know. First off, in order to know the longitude, you're going to have to know the time. Now I realize there's a few smart Alex out there who are going to say, well hello, the time is easy. If the sun is exactly overhead, that means the time is noon. Now, while that is a true statement, it's not particularly helpful. The time that we need to know is not the local time. We need to know the time according to the universal time standard called Greenwich Mean Time. Now, since I'm a celestial navigator, I keep my watch set for Greenwich Mean Time. So the exact moment when the sun passed precisely overhead actually occurred a few minutes ago. Before I turned on the video camera, I made some very careful shadow measurements that I didn't bother filming because I figured you'd think it was boring. So the moment when the sun passed exactly overhead occurred at 1602 Greenwich Mean Time. So that means two minutes after four in the afternoon in Greenwich was when the sun passed exactly overhead for our new Ames Island. So knowing that, and using some pretty simple, straightforward mathematics, you should have no trouble calculating what the longitude of Ames Island is. Now the latitude turns out to be even easier. All you need to know is the date, which is April 23rd. So if you do a little bit of internet research and some thinking, you should be able to find a table or a graph or something where you can look up and find out what the latitude of Ames Island is. So the sooner you get on that, the sooner we'll be able to file our claim, and then this beautiful island will belong to Ames. <laughs>